Hello everybody, I'm playing Air Mech. This is the Canary build of the game, and pretty much the only thing that's changed from this to the vanilla as it is right now is they've added new um, item pop-up cards, right? So you can see here, it's got the, the abilities and stuff in the description in this tab, and then they've added a second one for the Air Mechs that give you the, uh, the statistics for the item too. And then they've also got that on stuff like pilots, and then it tells you uh, what kind of item something is right here. It says this is an item right there, or like, you know, this is a cosmetic or whatever. See? There you go. That's all that's changed. I'm going to bump it into into vanilla, because as you can see right up here, this guy's like, lollipop, just me now. It's just me and Draconer K and Canary. So, back in vanilla. Um, one of the comments I receive a lot is that I talk too fast, and um, I'm going to try and slow it down now and remedy that issue, because I probably do, because even though English is my first language, I apparently can't speak it, so <laughs> proper without going blah, blah, blah. so there you go. Yes, Helix. Let's try and justify this god off a build, shall we? Jumpers are not actually as effective as they were in previous patches because outpost got stronger and the way you capture has just been, you know, uh, messed with a little bit. But I'm gonna hold on to them because they're I mean I don't really see a better solution, especially when I'm using something that I don't really know how to use, so I gotta stick to the to the basics here. Money makers, you need them for money. Uh, remember to defend them on the field. Don't let them get blown up because they're worth lots of EXP and they're bad to lose and cost a lot to replace all of them, you know? So if you're on a map like Nestorn where you've got those three in the pit that just kind of die all the time, uh, yes, guard them. Or use them to lure in the enemy and get kills or whatever you want, man. Jammers, because then you can move your rushes and things without problems, you know, without getting spotted. Build arty, arty placements, or I'm using Archies right now, they have longer range and less damage, but yeah. I should probably be using Berthas though if I have Goliaths because tech pods will be necessary anyway. Um... That, 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 yeah, Seekers are better than Hats because they chase you. They will chase the enemy away. And uh, Hunter Seekers are probably good. I see a lot of people using them for their higher damage. Um, higher damage output, like their total damage output. I think I have, I actually do have Hunter Seekers. If I just type it in here. Ooh, my word. It's getting a weird loading glitch. Hunter Seeker. There you go, yep. What's the difference? Missile speed, but less damage. That just means they fire more. And firing more is good because, you know, then you just get shellacked. Uh, so I think they do have a overall higher output because people tend to get out of range faster, but it's good that more missiles get put out in a short amount of time, if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll show you that later. Um, ratchets, they heal things, because you can't. You're a helix, not an osprey. Don't forget it. Um, Geminis, you know, because they're pretty basic attack units, and Goliaths, just because they deal a ton of damage. Not Devastators, they're just unrealistic, take too long. So, uh, that took a fair bit. For items, I have all my default stuff. The stuff that reduces respawn, but makes the rest of your stuff good, because if you're good, you won't be dying. That's my rule. Um, I use... Gabe because you actually get some respawn speed back and attack power and air speed which are great for something like the helix which is all about damage I use blaster guardians too for that damage is so important being able to put out they have a high dps you know because uh, burst damage in short periods of time is best because then the enemy can't get away you know as opposed to high output over a longer period of time which is what I think the warthog is more about but like the way you avoid that is by leaving you know kind of like with the helix missiles don't land under helix because they'll blow you up if you don't get out because they do deal lots of damage really fast even though it drains a lot of energy they'll kill you pretty fast so yeah those are my newbie tips for helix I guess still not a guide base shark I saw that up there you said thanks for doing my helix side no <laughs> not a guide I'm learning I'm learning with you I think that's a good way to get it you know get it processed better before I do an actual you know very concise guide so I'm rambling uh, time to join a game let's go to the play menu see what's up in the custom lobbies and just get into a good one here so in this game that I went and created we've got me and Draz both using the helix um I think he might know how to use his because he's pretty good I'm tired he says yeah well I mean he just he just had a but pretty butts game so money makers on every pad please everywhere please uh, I say for the team and I'm gonna get my helix and my levels it's gonna be a oh my gosh nest horn though see I, I jinxed it by saying it before but I actually hate nest horn I don't think you're a noob spectrum Z I seen you around I'm just asking how you feel you stack up against basically Draz because these guys I've never seen before although he is using Scoutmaster Pax is on so Pax crates are dropping I believe I mentioned that um Let's bust out the units. Should have gotten something lighter. This one guy, Man Man's got Devastators. Oh, we're gonna get gooned on. Love you, though, Spectrum. See, I seen you shouting me out and stuff. That's pretty dash. Let's just go right away, man. Let's just go and get. Oh my gosh, you actually trying to cheese? See, he is. He is. Boop, boop. Well, okay, so Draz just fed first blood. Um, not to any of us, though, so that's okay for them. Oh, no, man, KK, okay. Stop with the M's. Stop with the MMs. We don't need them on these paths, just those ones. Let's just keep the missiles going on these guys. K 
kill Lorando again. Okay, why not? Andres, double kill, baby. Who plays this game? Not you, clearly. Oh, the Helix, what a great mech. Nice, not even that good. It's pretty good. Let's all land. Let's just keep him coming. Spectrum Z is on top of his game here, boys and girls. Shout out, because he thought I was calling him a noob earlier. I literally asked him, I'm like, are you good? And he's like, my, my word. OMG teammate. It's you too, yo. You're landing under Helix. What did I just say? But, like, this is my second game. So because of um, the inability for, you know, us to get near their base right now, because they're turtling so hard, Aramek introduced the a new overtime version where if you're dominating, instead of just time-wise, if you're dominating, it's like all overtime, then their base will slowly take damage. They've actually captured this one back, so we just need to to jank up this tank here and get it back, and then the domination damage will start rolling in again. Look how the missiles just know to go behind the tank to deal mass maximum go to hell. Yes, we can keep all the bases. That's what I was saying. Good idea. Um, I actually kind of tapped out there, though, because I started texting. I do that in the middle of games a lot. My apologies to my teammates. Yeah, let's mess Raz off. Okay. <laughs> So here goes our final ragtag push, which there's a frickin' Devastator in for some reason, which is stuck behind a honeypot, like, man, man, what are you doing? Alright, um, well, oh my goodness, I wasn't even watching my health bar. Friggin' looking at my microphone, making sure it's facing the right way so you can hear me. Hey, everybody. I'm not gonna product plug it, because I don't even know if that's allowed. But it looks like we're about to BG. You're mad, Draz. You're a little... You're a touch angered. Let's be at least alive for when this thing ends. Here we go. Just made it. So that's Helix. Um, you know, the missiles deal crazy damage. You, they can't really out-missile you when you're near your own base. Look what happened here. Look what happened. Look at this mess. Hey, there's a Devastator. It's still alive, too, eh? Am I holding it? Yeah, I am. Boop. Oh, what a glorious beast. Damn, it's big. It's bigger than me. It's big, yo. Continue. That's the game. I'm learning some, some Helix stuff. Hey, man, man. I was going to say some stuff. Something to him. But it's all good. Continue. Good game. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Bye-bye.